All right, sounds pretty cool there. Let's take a look at your forecast and what's going on there. We do have, and you can see it right here, a dense fog advisory in effect. It officially goes up until 10 o'clock this morning, and a big portion of western Pennsylvania is going to be included under that. Places that aren't Fayette, Somerset, Bedford County, part of Westmoreland County as well that's kept out. Now, here's the good news for you. Uh, the visibility numbers uh, are coming in, and they have been improving, steadily improving over the last hour to two hours. So we're really only seeing dense fog in places like Pittsburgh, Beaver Falls, even in Newcastle this hour, we're technically not dealing with dense fog anymore with the visibility coming in at a mile. There is a sliver of dense fog, though, just along the state line, right around the Beaver Falls area as well, that extends to the Pittsburgh airport, and then extends over into the Wheeling area as well. That's where the lion's share of the dense fog is going to be this morning. Everyone else, some patchy fog is going to be there in some areas. Also, don't forget along and north of I-80, there are some pockets of dense fog that have set up. So we do have good news for you. Things are looking a lot better now than they did just two and a half hours ago. And no, it's not just because the sun is up. Uh, we are dealing with and seeing the visibility numbers uh, coming up. That's certainly some good news. Temperatures this hour, 50 degrees. Wind out of the east at 8 miles an hour. The barometer, 30, 29 hundredths of an inch in the dew point coming in at 49. Here's a look at temperatures. From top to bottom, we have Slippery Rock at 49. Ford City, 50 degrees, along with the Blairsville area at 50, and Darlington also at 50 degrees. It is 52 in Cannonsburg. Waynesburg also can begin 52 degrees. High temperature today, you can see it right there, 66. Uh, your expected high with the winds. They should actually be out of the northeast, I believe. I'll double check that at around 5 to 10 miles an hour. Should be plenty of sunshine for your afternoon. And then we'll start to see a small chance for some rain overnight tonight, uh, mainly down south of I-70 is where we'll have a, uh, at least a shot of seeing some rain. Doesn't look like it would be much if we see any. Here's your forecast for the day today. We'll put the noon temperature at 59, 63 at 2, and at 4 o'clock, 65 degrees. I think we get back to 66 again. For our expected high. When it's coming to rain chances, we do have a small chance for rain on Wednesday, another chance for rain on Thursday. The Wednesday rain is because of this boundary that's just kind of sticking around. It'll be still here, very weak as we're starting off the day tomorrow, and we are expecting a little bit of moisture. You see it right there, a little bit of moisture moving to the north, kind of falling apart as it tries to roll into the state. But I think that that's just enough that will put in a 30% chance for rain. We don't want to forget about uh, places like Morgantown that could be looking at some rain, maybe even in parts of uh, Maryland as well, including Allegheny County and Garrett counties could both also see a passing shower first thing on Wednesday morning. Besides that, a lot of sunshine on Wednesday, 69 your high. We're in the 70s for highs Thursday, Friday, and depending on when the rain arrives on Saturday, we're going to go 70 degrees there as well.